to those scenes of destruction throughout the central U.S., uh, the massive tornado ripping up Jefferson City, Missouri. And with all that devastation, more than a thousand miles away here in Newington, amateur radio operators are on the ready. Today, they were training for a hurricane scenario. Those operators were testing their ability to relay massive amounts of messages during and after a disaster. Fox 61's Jim Altman has more. This is more than just radio chatter. Days before the official start of hurricane season, the American Radio Relay League, the ARRL, needs to be on their A game. Kilo Bravo 3, Mike X-Ray Mike, this is WNEW calling on frequency. What's happening in Newington is a full-scale demo to prepare for a disaster. What essentially has happened is a large hurricane has hit the eastern seaboard, and we are receiving messages from stations up and down the eastern seaboard. The drill is in coordination with the Red Cross and FEMA, who happen to be in Baltimore. But from Newington, they act as a sort of critical message clearinghouse. Think of it, the power's out, cell towers are down, but their message here in Newington is they can carry on the message. Because we don't rely on the infrastructure. Roger, Roger. Joe Karsha is the ARRL station manager. We will get on the air with emergency power sources. So if the grid is down, if cell technology is down, we can still communicate over RF or radio frequencies using very simple stations or rather complex stations as I have here. Amateur radio works. Amateur radio works. When something happens, we're called up and our guys in the field hit the field and, and they come to action. Where is help needed most? Where should relief workers rush to? All part of the mocked up scenarios with real life implications. This kind of training is crucial to make sure that when the disaster hits, we can respond in a timely fashion to support the American public. Kilo Charlie 3, Echo Whiskey, Yankee. And we're all proud of our call signs and the abilities that we have to serve the public. And that's what we're here for. In Newington, Jim Altman. Roger. Thanks for the relay. Fox 61 News.